Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here. Welcome to another video in Forza Horizon 3. In this one, we're going to be doing something a little different. No collisions racing in Forza Horizon 3. Uh, probably a lot of you didn't know that this thing actually existed in this game. And I didn't. I didn't either. Until I'm playing it right here. So we're driving the BSE Mono. Yeah, I'm, I'm a total noob right now. I thought I'd noob it up a little bit. Uh, so we're going to go with the BSE Mono. And this thing, as we all know, is pretty good in terms of grip. So around the corners I'm going to do alright. But down the straights I'm going to get left behind by these guys. They are going to run off into the distance. But as soon as they see a corner, they're going to start drifting around, hitting trees and things. And then I am going to come through and demolish them, probably. Well, we'll let's see, shall we? As we come over the dam, uh, I am in near enough last place. One guy behind me. It's a team event, but who cares about the team stuff? We're going straight for the victory here. No no regards for who's on our team or not. We're going to go straight for the win. Going through a fast right-hander. And that's just proving everything wrong that I've just said. I've gone flying into the barrier. Subarus are all over the place. Now, that is something that's got to be sorted out in this game. The net code seems to be pretty off. All the cars seem to be lagging all over the place all the time. But in the meantime, I've gone through into second place. So while everyone has been going into the trees, I've been keeping it on the black stuff and overtaking everyone. So down in second, down to the third gear for that corner. Catching up with this BMW as he struggled full grip around there. Now we've got a long straight by the looks of it on the map. So we're going to struggle for a while here. Now this is the point where I'm going to say thank you very much guys for 30,000 subscribers. That is an amazing milestone and... Wow, it's just, it's just amazing that I've got that many. I really didn't think I'd get that many when I first started out. So thank you to each and every one of you. So even th th those of you who have been here since the very beginning and have been very loyal. And of course the new subscribers as well who are very new to the channel. So I welcome all of you who have just subscribed as well. And something I've changed on the channel is my karting videos. So I won't be posting them on this channel anymore. I've made another channel which is in the channel section on my channel if that makes sense go to the go to my channel and then go on the channels bit where there's the extra channels and then it's called steve alvarez brown which is my name go on there that's where i'm going to post my karting from now on so if you want to check out those if you were interested in them before they're on that channel have a look if you didn't uh, watch them before well maybe it is worth a watch they're still quite good videos and the championship i'm in odds are on that i'm going to win the championship so um, you look out for that as well very close to the end of the season and I'm pretty much odds on to win it so good news there but back to this video BAC Mono overall a very good car I think now going through this corner it looks like everyone has just drifted wide into the trees into the forest and I'm going to go flying through into second so this is the thing about no collisions racing you just have to keep your head almost forget about everyone else existing it's pretty much time trial. It's live time trial, essentially. So that guy's gone flying into the barrier. What the hell are they doing? That is not the line to take through there. And that's just going to give me a massive gap now uh, to open up. As we come into the city of Surface Paradise, take a wide entry into this one. The car just grips beautifully. It's just really suited to this kind of, uh, this kind of circuit where you've got these uh, nice tarmac corners. It really does just grip beautifully through here. And I've got a rather, a rather large gap at the moment developing. So it looks like I'm going to win this one. Now I'm going to make a video at some point very soon about the XP online. So the XP is kind of messed up. Uh, so cars just drifting around at the back. Winning the XP championship. And it kind of just makes it a massive mess if I'm totally honest. So that's why I do love this no collisions racing. Because it's the only mode in the game or in the online section that is actual racing. So uh, so many of you will call it not actual racing because you know, you're going through each other. But when you do the normal online adventure, uh, half the guys are drifting around. Half the guys are trying to race. Half the guys are racing but drifting as well. And it really is just one massive mess. And it's not proper racing to me anyway. Maybe you're racing one other guy who's actually trying to race. But no one else is. So across the line, it's an easy victory in the end. So pretty much everyone's brains turned to shit in that race and they all forgot how to drive, handing me an easy victory. 
it did help as well that the track was in the city and there was lots of tight corners uh, and it wasn't raining in that one. The rain doesn't really help this car at all and the stock tune is at the top of the class already so you don't have, you don't have to tune this car up at all. So that's quite a useful thing. So another race here, let's see what we can do. That guy's just going to go driving into a garden and pretty much ruin his chances of winning. The brakes are amazing, as you can see there, going from third to first, uh, losing it out on the losing out on the acceleration slightly as I got a little bit over eager. This BMW also getting a bit uh, over eager on the throttle out of the turns. These cars are just appearing out of nowhere. This is what I mean about the net code. It's kind of all over the place. Cars just morphing in and out of the game, appearing in front of you, appearing behind you. It really is quite alien technology that they are using. So I'm really not sure what the hell is going on. Perhaps that is uh, the crossplay. That's the only reason I can put on that thing that these cars are flipping about everywhere is that they're on Windows 10 and the integration isn't that good. That's the only reason I can put on it or I need to sort my internet out. But it's been all right since I've bought an Ethernet cable and I do have about 50 or 60 megabytes per second, which is pretty quick. So I don't think it's that. Maybe it's just the game. Okay, through the right-hand kink. Now, we're going to come into a left-hander here, except only I'm not, because I'm going to drive past it, because in the Top Gear power laps I've been doing, that is where I drive. I, go, I carry on up that way, so I was kind of used to going up there, completely forgetting that the track is different here. So dropping a couple of positions. It's going to be a whitewash, I think, for the red team in this one, unless I can gain a couple of positions. But I find that crashing into poles in that kind of manner doesn't really help and that is going to really screw up my, uh, my race massively. So this race I really just screwed up massively and then coming through here, the checkpoint is on the left but yeah I went to the right being too clever with my racing lines. I went completely to the wrong side, messed myself up completely. So this race really has gone down the drain. I've just driven like an absolute moron and it's one I want to forget. But the only good thing that you can take from this is well you should just learn from it basically. At least I know this track and at least I know where I went wrong and how I can improve myself in the future, almost missing that checkpoint and we've only got 20 seconds to finish but it's just around the corner. So that race was pretty much a disaster but overall I think this car is very solid for racing and I just wish there was more actual proper racing in the game rather than half the people drifting around and stuff like that. But there we go, that is that race done. We got demolished by the red team so well done red team. So that's going to bring a close to this video. I hope you have enjoyed it guys. Let me know your thoughts on which cars to use and if you didn't know about the no collisions racing yeah it's there just go on custom adventure when you choose online adventure and then there's an option for it through there so that's the end from this one guys thank you very much again for 30,000 subscribers that is an amazing achievement and i hope to see you in the next video remember to suggest of course cars for me to do in the power laps episodes as well and of course your thoughts on this video so that's all from me. Subscribe for more like this. Hit that like button and I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.